next category that we're going to talk about is the top tag team of 2021. Good question. And we asked this to Mike. I'm and sure we have all three different ones here. Who do you think I picked? Lucha Brothers. Sato! <laughs> yeah, I'm right. So, uh, Young Bucks, I'm a huge Young Bucks fan. Yes, Shocking. but to me, <laughs> to me, the there is no one better in the ring than a healthy Lucha Brothers. If they are clicking on all cylinders and they're healthy in the ring, they put on a show like I've never seen before. And, you know, transitioning from uh, WWE to AEW, seeing the Young Bucks in the ring, seeing the Lucha Brothers in the ring, I'm like, what is this? This is incredible stuff. I'm just just a loss for words at times. And and Penta and Ray and Do Ray it. Phoenix are two of the most impressive, innovative, dominant wrestlers as singles and together as a team. Um, is are just just a uh, loss for words, man. Incredible stuff, and I'm so happy that they have gold around their waist finally and getting the recognition that they truly deserve because um, they're unstoppable when they're healthy and they they never disappoint in the ring. As a Lucha Underground geek, like a total fanboy of that that company, even though it was short lived, as a guy who just loved Lucha Underground, you know. I'm not shocked at what these guys can do. I watched it. I was in. I experienced. So I experienced the awe that you're experiencing with now. I experienced that, and now I just appreciate their greatness. And and they are part of Death Triangle, which it, it also features a guy who's very similar to them. You don't get to see yes. them in action all the time, but when you do, it mm-hmm. feels incredible. They're so good at what they do. They make it look effortless a lot of the time. They connect with the fans. Great energy. Um, so I understand your pick. Uh, for me, I really struggled with this one. I was I was really connecting with Mike when he was answering his question earlier because my struggle, my debate back and forth internally was FTR and, and the Young Bucks. Yeah, I, I am such an FTR fanboy that I struggled giving the Bucks the nod here, um, but. When I look at their title run, when I look their at their role, work. the role in the Kenny Omega championship reign and story, and how great they did outside of the ring, um, on so much of their character work over the course of 2021, I found that the Bucks were one of those teams that they stood out in multiple categories for me. They were key players in the top heel. They, they were, were right they were key. They were huge uh, candidates in the top match of the year for me. Mm-hmm. Um, with the steel cage match with the Lucha brothers. Um, yep. they, 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 they were to me, these guys had a banner year. Um, and I, I had to give them the nod, even though FTR has accomplished, they, so they much. accomplished a lot in 2021, but I just, I, I feel like the bucks stood out. Um, do yeah, you think this that. is the Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers are their yin to their yangs in terms of level of um, matches that they can produce. As yeah, I, I I don't think that's a stretch. You know, I, I think that these guys uh, and we'll I'm not going to spoil anything for later, right. but you know, we might be talking about them in a little bit. Um, but yeah, man, I, I mean, think that they they can go and have the best tag team matches in the world. Um, these both these teams together. Uh, can have the best matches in the world. Um, the reason I picked the Bucks uh, is because they had a 300 day title reign dating back to last November. You know, oh, like the staff, they, oh, bring in the stats. Yeah, 300 days, like 302, 302. Bring insane. in the stats, brother. And, and I remember how strange. how frustrated we were at times um, during their run. Who's gonna you beat know? them? Like, right. who's gonna beat these guys? Like, we were getting like, and as a fan of the Young Bucks, I love the Bucks. I think they're mm-hmm. awesome. I was getting genuinely annoyed at like by them. Like I was genuinely irritated. Like when they would just go out and be like, Oh man, like Brandon Cutler comes out with his stupid cold spray and <laughs> ruins the match. And I'm like, yep. I'm like, man, like, come on guys. You know, like, <laughs> come on. Like yep. this is, this is getting ridiculous. And yep. and it did get ridiculous. But as, as Mike talked about earlier, Mike Magnum talked about, which if you guys didn't get to see that earlier, check it out later. Uh, we'll be posting it on our YouTube channel. But as he talked about five years ago, he thought the Bucks couldn't tell stories. And you see a lot of people online talk about that. And then he said, man, like, once he saw that. them in person and got to watch it, like, he was like, oh, man, no, these guys are really nuanced performers. And, like, these guys do get it. And they're 
they're doing something that nobody else is doing. And I love that about the Bucks. And I think that right now, while they're still they're in the backseat a little bit, they're still kind of involved in in main event stuff. Uh, obviously, with Adam Cole uh, and uh, be Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, yeah. this story is getting really interesting. But you know that title reign was epic and long and amazing, even though they cheated most of the time to win their 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 title matches. They would still have these epic moves and their tandem wrestling is just on point. Um, I think that, that the Lucha bros and the bucks are the best tag tan like tandem wrestlers, the best uh, tandem move set in wrestling. So to, for me, like this is a toss up. There's so many good tag teams in AEW, but Love I just give it to the squad that has that they held the titles for almost the whole year. Stats you don't know, lie, brother. You're yeah, right. It's, Exactly. Who you got? Are you? Is that Arn Anderson over there with the play cards you got shuffling through there, Bonds? <laughs> That's just a paper. <laughs> <laughs> the play card? No. no it, it's ever, not. As we're seeing in the chat, you know, mine brought up like Brandon Cutler deserves some kind of award, and I mean, he does. That Stooge guy, of the Year award. Brandon, yeah. one of the best bench players, six man of any yeah. kind of group that I've I've seen in a long time. That guy has played his role uh, to uh, yeah. an absolute T. Uh, the Young Bucks. Are, are great on their own, but honestly, without Cutler and the cold spray and the shenanigans that he throws in there, like he helped elevate the young bucks for sure. Fold. And Kenny, They're like five, ten, the fold, man, we have, that is an honorary award. Great, great idea. Mind runner. It would be fun to do like a superlative award, you know, like, um, end of the like school awards that are just funny. Like Jimmy Fallon does that, but Brandon Cutler, man, giving Jimmy props Falcon. to him because he absolutely de deserves it. We told him at all out. We were like, man, what you're doing is incredible stuff, man. And I saw him in the gym a couple times. And I'm like, you're just, you're killing it, man. You're killing it for he sure. He's such a nice guy too. He, yeah, Very nice he guy. A, he's just a really nice guy. Speaking of